YB stays on your neck. Stays <laughs> on my neck. So, from what you told me yesterday, you said Joshua is looking good. He's sparring well. He's been sparring guys that are more or less similar yeah. to Andy Ruiz. Rumors coming out still that he's getting hurt in sparring. Can you address that? <laughs> Where'd that one come from? I that's, heard that's from two really, people. That's yeah. the first time. Yeah. I've heard that rumor this time around. That, that he's still having trouble, that he, mentally he's still not there, that he's still having trouble. No, I haven't heard that rumor. I Yo, my dance, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and obviously you hit the bell for notifications. So we just heard there from a hating ass dude. Typical American hating ass dude. Actually, quickly, let me not say that because I've got a few American dogs out there, a few American dons holding it down for the YB and that. So, that, not not in general, but you know what I'm saying. This dude, this don right here, Marcos Villahegas, whatever his damn name is, is a hating ass dude. That's what we do know, by the way. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> I heard. Okay. No, how about you didn't talk about what you heard? How about you showed the footage? How about that? Yeah? Well, from now on, well, since we're going to talk about journalistic standards, as an example, when the YB comes on here, the YB brings receipts, does he not? When the YB told you that Fury was taking padding out of his gloves, did he come on here and say, um, uh, well, I was, no, he brought receipts, yeah? I can't, I, if I could spell it, I'd spell it out for you. R-E-C-I-E. See, I don't even done how to spell it, but if I could spell it, as I said, I'll be spelling it out receipt, but to her. How about that? Let me do, in fact, let, let me do it, <laughs> let me do it soundily. Receipt, sir, receipt, million percent. Now, my question is, this hating ass, oh, Hatman, Hatman's talking about, oh, Marcus Villegas is the most underrated YouTuber. Man's got 750,000 subs, what are you talking, oh, go and sub to Marcus Villegas, how much is he paying for you for that plug boss, man? He's got 750k subs, he's the, no word of a lie, that Fight Hub TV is the biggest channel in the whole of boxing, certified, biggest one, biggest one, my man's talking about, oh, he needs more rep, he needs more clout, he's underrated, he's a, he's a, he's a story ass making up dude, Marcus Villegas, where's the receipts at? I don't want to be hearing about what you heard, how about you show the receipts? Oh, well, I heard that, um, yeah, yeah, Joshua knocked down twice on inspiring. Number one, you know, actually, let me not say that. Fair enough, if you haven't got actual receipts, that's fine, but tell us who told you then. Say, as an example, Johnny Nelson exposed the fact that Wilder got laid flat out, got banged once to the body by Klitschko, and got banged again to the head by Klitschko. Both times, he was sparkoed, yeah? And Johnny Vegas, Johnny, sorry, <laughs> Johnny Nelson said he saw it in person. So now what then? That there is a is a anecdote, a, a, a tier one anecdote, yeah, a first person anecdote. This dude Marcus Vegas coming out here, this pure speculating. What they do is they do this for clout as well. He, had, I bet he had heard off no one. He's just putting it out there, thinking, you know what? Let me try and because let's get it right. Before the AJ fight, who is it? Joey, Joey Dueco. That was quite a big story. So obviously Marcus Vegas has come out. He's, he's just coming down. I bet his channel's on a bit of a come down from the KSI versus Logan situation because their, their channel was popping on that KSI versus Logan stuff. So I reckon his channel's on a bit of a come down and he's thinking, oh, you know what? Let me let me throw this in the mix. Let's try and get another Joey Dueco situation going on because that, that was popping. Let's be real now. In terms of boxing YouTube, that whole Joey Dueco situation was popping. I was banging videos all day and all week about that. So this man's trying to get another one of them ones going. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. Where did the receipts at? Show me some evidence. Who have you heard it from? You know what I mean? One of them ones there. Oh, well, um, Joshua don't put down twice and sparring. Where is it at? It's no good. It's, 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 you might as well, as an example, I might as well come on here then and say, I heard that Wilder got sparked out by some random Don in there. It doesn't make no sense, does it? Whenever, if I'm going to say something on here, it's going to be receipt based. I just think that, I don't, I don't understand the angle at this point as well. And that's what frustrates me in a way, because... AJ gives their man interviews. I'm thinking, what? That same Don is out here talking pure, pure rubbish, making pure stuff up. Now, don't get me wrong. It's about being journalistic. People, some people might say, "Oh, why be? You're trying to stop free speech." Absolutely not. What I'm trying to do is get some, some level of standards going on here. Tell me who, who told you that? We, only, I want to know because obviously that helps. If you tell me, Rob McCracken told you, then that make okay. You know what? We, we, we best start listening to these claims. But until I hear some names. He just, that could just be made up. If it felt to me almost like he's fishing, and Eddie Hearn actually exposed him to an extent. Eddie Hearn said, that's the first I've heard of it, and you're damn right is Eddie, you're right. Like I told you, the YB's already exposed it. That man's YouTube channel is on a bit of a downer. That's what we call a bit of a downer in the YouTube space. 
Yeah, he's coming off a big buzz. KSI, uh, KSI versus Logan, his channel was popping, and now he's realised his, his views are dried up a hot piece, and he's thinking, you know what? How can I get some more hype? Just making up pure BS, pure BS, the most purest. And if I was AJ, I'd say, you know what? You, uh, you see you there, yeah? No, none for you, boss man. How about that? Trying to get some clout off my name. Simple. That's, uh, that's how I'll, me personally. That's how I'll be doing things. But that's me. Anyway, let me now address the actual rumours because people have got always got a lot to say. And at this point. Two weeks out, personally speaking, I'm not interested in rumours. Now, after the fight, we can take it from there, but... In fact, no, tell a lie. I said after June 1st, after June 1st, it's going to be... For me, there's going to be no rumours. Now, you know what? It, it'll be what it'll be. If, if there's rumours about, <laughs> then why are we going to talk about them? Simple as that. I don't give a F. If there's rumours about, after the fight, the YB will be addressing them. Simple. Anyway, as of today, though, me personally, I could come on here and say, oh, this, that, the other, and slag my crack it off, as I love to do, but at this point, two weeks out, I'm just kind of going to take a back step and just let, 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 let the fight juices start simmering, start bubbling, start marinating, start seasoning. That's what I'm going to be doing now, because to come on here and say, number, in fact, number one, in fact, let, let, me, let me wind it right back, actually, because if Marcus Vlegas, aka Mr. Trying to Get Some Clout, had come on here and gave us some sources and gave us some names. I might actually analyse the, the claims, but the fact he come on here and didn't, didn't mention no names, didn't mention no information, didn't mention no receipts, or a kepasa, yeah, none of them. What, what do you want me to do with that? I can't even, I can't even really speculate because I just think he's talking pure rubbish. If the truth be known, that's what, that's what, that's what I believe. I don't think there's anyone in that camp. And the Joey Duaco situation it is, it is what it is. But at least that had a bit of smoke with fire, in as much as. We had the newspapers printing it. Now they could they could just be clout chasing as well. But the other thing I found interesting was Joey Duaco himself. Joey Duaco, he was sitting there saying he was saying, "Oh, no comment, no comment." Well, in reality, if Joey Duaco hadn't have done it, he'd have said, "No, nah, I didn't do that." That's what you wouldn't you know. You wouldn't say no. Co you only say no comment in sparring rumors if it did happen. Otherwise, you'd shut it down and say, "No, that's, that's a lie. It didn't happen." So, my point is, number one, Marcus Vallegas, aka Mr. Clout Chaser, didn't give us no names. Of who told him, and most importantly, he didn't give us no name to knock AJ down. So it's like it just doesn't make no sense. There's no credibility in, in it whatsoever. Because let's assume Marcus Flegas was told, then surely you'd have been told who did it. As an example, Marcus Flegas should have gone into that conversation and said, "Listen, Eddie, I've heard so and so put AJ down. Thomas Motton put AJ down twice, or Andrew Tobi put AJ down twice. That's what could have happened, could it not? But he didn't do that. He didn't even do a bit of that." Instead, he just come on and, and just basically was fishing. He was hoping that Eddie Holmes was going to bite on it and say, Oh, how did you know that? Kind of one of them ones there. One of them clouty ones. But for me, as I said, I don't, I don't, I just personally don't believe it. I think all this, everyone's always, you, AJ's always been the, AJ's the only man in history, yeah, who, <laughs> who in a fight don't never get put down don't, or don't never get hurt, but yet is always getting hurt in sparring. Don't make no sense to me. As an example, people laugh at me when I say AJ's got, people laugh at me. When I say AJ's got a world class chin, but as I've said before, show me a time in AJ's career, right hand from Klitschko, hooks from Ruiz, any time that you've seen AJ like, like AJ battling to stay conscious, like Fury has multiple times. Fury got in there with his cruiserweight and got, got flattened, smoothed out, got, put, got done smoothly. Yeah? S M O O D L Y, smoothly is how he got done. Number of times by random people who can't even punch. That's an example as well. People ran, people ran away about, about Wilder's power just quickly, but Wilder can power Ortiz. Ortiz, or, I'm not being funny, Ortiz went down a similar way to AJ did. He just kind of fell to the floor because he was tired. And that's what I'm So I'm, I'm actually, for this Wilder fight, I'm actually somewhat intrigued, you know, because I'm not so sure about Wilder's power. Because put, we've seen a cruiserweight, an actual cruiserweight, Cunningham, who, ha, who isn't even known to have power, <laughs> put Fury down. The same way Wilder did. So I'm not even sold on Wilder's power anyway. My point is... AJ's the only man I know who constantly gets knocked out inspiring by all these random dons, Joey Duwaco, I've never heard of him, all these people knock him down, but yet, in the fight, no one can do squat with him. No, no one can, no one can buzz, I remember people ranting in the Raven Hat Man talking about, oh yeah, we've heard about David Price has knocked AJ Sparko, well, number one, Dave, Dave Price can't knock no one else, who's he knocked out, people ranting in the Raven about, oh, Dave Price is the second biggest puncher in boxing history, what, who's he hurt, who's, seriously, who's he hurt, who, who has he hurt, tell me one person, David Price hurt, who's worth, who's worth anything. Ne I've never seen it myself. Never seen it. Never, never seen him stop anyone. So with that in mind, you're telling me Dave Price knocked AJ out, spark out apparently, but yet the man who knocked Dave Price spark out, the Povetkin, got bullied all around the ring by AJ. And didn't even AJ. People talk about Povetkin hurt AJ. I I didn't see that person. I just didn't. 
what I saw was, I saw a heavyweight hit, I saw a 250 pound man hit another 250 pound man. That's what people don't understand, I mean, especially when they talk about Dillian White fight as well. People say, oh, well, oh, yeah, it was 50 50 with Dillian White. Oh, AJ went 50 50. Oh, AJ went 50 50 with Povetkin. You do understand, just based on pure physics that, or pure physiology, when you've got a 250 pound mass colliding with another 250 pound mass, there's going to be, there has to be, um, Newton's law of motion, yeah? When <laughs> one action creates another, you, one of them ones there. When when you put that much force into into a given mass, it's going to move. Simple as that. So, people get twisted about, oh, he was hurt. No, he, he wasn't hurt by Perfecting. He wasn't hurt by Dillian White. He was just hit by big men. Now, the Ruiz fight's a bit different, but still, even the Ruiz fight, he didn't get... He didn't, when, when AJ hit Ruiz, Ruiz was ghostbusted. Yeah, his eyes done a done a seven twenty spin in his head. Went right round twice, like a like bingo, like um like a like a Vegas thing. That's what happened to him. So never mind that. You didn't see AJ's eyes go spinning in his head like that. But uh, so my point is, I just think this people are just trying to look for clout and pe people are being dishonest. If my, if the truth be known, I don't believe AJ's been put down in sparring. And like I said, come with some evidence, come with some receipts, and maybe we can take it from there. But even if he had done, I, mean, I, I just don't see it myself. I just don't see it. This this camp. If you look at AJ, we're going to see more into fight week, but if you look at AJ in the most recent interviews, he looks calm, cool and collected. He doesn't look like a man who's been bamboozled in sparring. That's just not what, that's not the feeling I've got from it, but let, let's see how it plays out anyway. Let me know what you might think.